Hello everybody, I'm Brian Drafke with Ion Technologies and today we are going to show you how to install one of our battery backup systems that Ion Technologies makes. Um, it's called the Sun Pro 100. Um, very simple, just about anybody can install it. Um, previously we hooked up the Ion Connect. Um, I do not have a battery backup system on my house and now we are going to put one in. Um, so go ahead, we have our head unit here. This is actually what does all the work in your AC or DC power and the AC power. Um, we've got our two batteries, our Sunpro shelf, and the battery box. Um, one of the things people skimp on a lot is the shelf. I absolutely would buy this no matter what. Um, it keeps it elevated off the ground just in case something does happen. Um, if you have a sewage pump or anything like that, that could actually flood your basement or crawl space or anything like that, you want to keep this up off the ground. Um, so we'll go ahead and install it. So in the package it comes with a box of bolts and nuts, some rubber feet for the bottom of it, um, a board, a frame, and four legs. All right, everybody, now that you guys can see we have our stand together, um, we're going to go ahead and take the power unit out, the battery box, and unload the batteries and show you how easy this is to set up. And so when you guys open up your battery box, you're going to see this wrapped in there. It's a, it's a fuse bar. That's what links the batteries together in the back which I'll show you guys that here in a couple minutes. Um, we're going to go ahead and put our battery box on the back of this. And when you're putting this in, pay attention. There's a notch right here. Make sure that's forward towards the head unit because that's where your wires for your, uh, ba uh, for your batteries are going to go in. So here's what the head unit looks like for the Sun Pro. Um, like I said, you might see other versions out there. Um, there's one that's all black like this, has a gold front, no display. That'd be the old 75. Still a good unit, um, something great to use. Anyway, so we have our, our Sun Pro stand built. We have our inverter um, slash power head and our battery box. I already have one of the batteries installed. It's one thing I want to touch on, everybody. Um, batteries. There's a bunch of different manufacturers out there. We actually manufacture the Power Plus. It's a true 120 amp uh, hour battery. It is an AGM battery. It's not a gel battery. A lot of people get mistaken and call these gel batteries. They're actually not. There's a huge difference between the two. Anyways, you cannot use gel batteries with these systems. Um, it could destroy the batteries. It could harm the system. Um, they're just not built for this charging unit. Um, so anyways, so it's a true 120 amp hour battery. Um, it's 100% sealed. There's no tabs on here to pop off to fill with distilled water or acid. Um, you can flip it upside down, do anything you want, it'll never leak. The reason that these are important is like I said, they are 100% maintenance free. They do have a three year warranty on them. Uh, I've seen people get three, five, six years out of these batteries. Um, like I said again, maintenance free. This is the last thing that everybody in their home worries about is their battery backup system until it fails. It could go three, four years, uh, five years even, that you've never even thought about it until that storm comes through and you lose power. So we'll go ahead and we'll install our batteries. One of the things I want you guys to really pay attention to because it's kind of a pain in the butt when you're putting these in, uh, the batteries are not light. They weigh about 75 pounds. When you're putting the batteries in, when you're looking at the front of the unit, looking towards the back, um, there's two power wires that come out here you've got a negative and a positive your positive is going to be on the right side so you want your first battery to go in with the negative side up front on it and the uh, positive out back and then we're going to do the opposite with the battery to the left on it we're going to put our positive up front that way we can hook our positive wire up to that so i'll go ahead and put this in So the next step that we want to do is we want to put in our fuse bar. Um, the fuse bar goes across the back of the battery. It doesn't matter which way you put it on. 
It actually has four fuses that you guys will see on there. If anything ever goes wrong with the system, say the pump pulls too much amps or amperage, um, high spike in power from that pump or anything, it'll blow these fuses. What it does is it actually protects the battery backup system that we don't harm anything on here. Um, if anything ever does go wrong with the unit and you replace the fuse bar and it doesn't work, we rebuild these. So do not throw these away. Um, we can rebuild them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this on the back of the battery. You're going to need a 14 millimeter socket, wrench, or an adjustable if you need it or if you have it. Now one of the things I want to touch on also too here is the instruction manual that comes in this bag. It shows you exactly how to do it. Um, read the instructions. I find these very important. But one of the things I want you guys to pay attention to is this here. This is the warranty card. Make sure you send this in. Fill it out. Send it in to us. Start your warranty on it. Um, get a three-year warranty on the unit also. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take and hook our negative wire up first. We're not going to plug the unit in either. So we'll take and run this down. Fourteen millimeter socket. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take instead of hooking up our positive side, we're actually going to take our power wire for the Sompro. Um, this is still disconnected. We have no power. If you hook it up, you'll see a spark on there without plugging this in first. So it's very important that you do a negative, plug it in to the wall, and then do your positive. You have 30 seconds. Like I said, again, if you see a spark, you didn't hurt the unit or anything like that. Um, it's just normal. There's no charging going on when you first plug it in. So we'll go ahead and plug that in, hook our, neg our positive up. So now you guys will see that shows us our battery status, status of normal on the Sun Pro. Input voltage is 124. Shows I got 25.9 volts. It'll charge up to about 28.8 at a total charge. And then you'll see through here, it'll show you 100% on there. So everything's great. Here's one of the great things really about this unit too that um, no system I've seen out there yet, we're the first one to come up with it is. Um, when I was talking about batteries and changing your batteries, um, one of the critical things is nobody ever checks them on this. If you use a maintenance-free battery and or your batteries go bad over time, the SunPro will actually tell you that your batteries are bad, that you need to replace them. If the batteries are still good, the minute I plug this in, it goes into a three-year timer. After three years and or if the batteries are bad, it will remind me to change my batteries on there. You'll get an alarm. So if the power's on at your house and you hear an alarm a couple years down the road or whatnot, um, don't be alarmed. Go check it out. If it says change batteries or anything like that, you'll know to change your batteries then. A um, couple of the features that it has on it. As a screw here to take this out, there's a panel up here on top. It actually has wind and solar outputs on it. Um, you can hook up a wind turbine or a couple of solar panels. It will not charge the batteries all the time if you lose power and you have a solar panel on there or a wind turbine it won't charge your batteries up um, what it does is it simply um, tops off the batteries so if you're at 15 20 percent down it'll actually keep those batteries charged and maintain them on there so you don't have to hook anything up to it it's an option if you want it so we're almost done with the install here you guys have seen how easy it really is to do so we're going to go ahead and put our battery box cover on here so if you notice here I've got my sump pump still plugged in here I actually have an ion uh, plus connect on here um, it's a controller for your sump pump you guys can see that in our other videos on here so now the only thing that I have plugged in is my sump pro into my outlet now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it this is my regular 115 volt everyday sump pump that I have and I've just turned it into a battery backup system. Um, you'll notice that there is two outlets on here. What you do not want to do 
is plug two sump pumps in there. What this is for is you have one for your sump pump, one for an external high water alarm if you have that. I don't need it, so I actually have the IF Plus Connect that has an alarm built into it, so I don't need a separate high water alarm into it. So what I did is I've unplugged this. I'm testing my battery backup system. You know, I unplugged it from the wall. Um, it's an inverter mode, like I said before. You can either, if you don't have a controller like this, you can just reach down in the pit, turn the pump on, or fill it up with water and test it to make sure that your battery backup system is using. In my case, I actually have the IM Plus Connect. I can actually just send it a test here from a text message from my phone, and we'll be able to test to see if my pump is running on battery backup. You'll see it here in a second. There it goes. It's running right now. She shows output current at 3.5. Now I know my battery backup system is taking care of my pump. A couple other things that'll do if we actually disconnected the power on it, it will go into battery backup mode. You can actually hit silence. You'll see if you ever see this, it's in inverter mode. If your power's on in your house, your breaker might be tripped. And we can go ahead and check our breaker and whatnot. We restore power to it, it automatically goes back into DC mode after a couple of seconds. So you'll see AC transfer in five, four, three, two, one. Now it goes back into power mode. That is the system in itself. Um, literally putting the stand together, putting the head on. The hardest part about putting this thing together is putting the batteries in it. You're done. That's it. If you'd like to see any more of our products or any more videos, go to ionproducts.net.